Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the Select Cases feature in SPSS. The Select Cases feature is a particularly convenient feature when you're trying to work with a large amount of data and you don't want to create separate data files. So I have an example here, uh, some fictitious data. I have an ID number, a group, that's an independent variable that has two levels. One is control and the other is cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. I have a pretest score, a post-test score, and then a gender. And let's assume that I want to quickly analyze uh, the post-test scores, see if there's a difference between the control and CBT levels on the post-test. But I want to do so for only the males and then only the females. So I want to separate them out. Now of course in this situation you could use Excel and split this into two separate files and then port it into uh, SPSS or for that matter you could uh, split it right in SPSS and save the data out. But the select cases feature is a much uh, faster and more reliable way to accomplish the same goal. So looking up at the uh, data selection on the, at the top here, you can see select cases, uh, second to last. So let's say first we want to look at just uh, the males, right? So let's just go back for a second and look at the actual values behind these variables. And that's uh, displayed by selecting this uh, A1 button up here. So you can see for males uh, I have a 0 and for females a 1. And that's what we're going to have to use for the select cases. Not the uh, string male or female uh, but the number 0 or 1. So going back to select cases I'm going to uh, select if condition satisfied and then click if and in this case, I want the gender to equal 0. So if I'm just looking at the difference uh, on the post-test scores for the males. Click uh, Continue, then uh, OK. And you can see what it does here is it strikes out all the ones that are not selected. So they're still in the data set, and you can access them again very easily, but they're temporarily uh, if you want them to be, temporarily uh, struck out, uh, not selected, according to the filter here. And of course the males are selected. So let's say I want to run an ANOVA uh, to determine if there's a difference between the two levels of the dependent variable on the post-test. Of course I could also use a t-test here. But I'll just use an ANOVA, so it'll be a general linear model univariate. And you see I already have it populated, so let me return it back to default. Uh, the dependent variable here, of course, would be post-test, and the fixed factor would be group. And I click OK, and you can see that there were 29 males in the control group and 34 in the, in the uh, treatment group, in the CBT group, and that there is a statistically significant difference on the post-test between the control and CBT groups for the males. So going back, and now I want to look at just the females. So I'll go to Data, Select Cases. I'm just going to change uh, this if condition to gender equals 1. And click OK. And you can see now that uh, it's changed it around. So the females are selected and the males are not selected. Again, I can go to uh, ANOVA. Uh, this would actually stay uh, the same. And click OK. And you can see there's uh, 16 females in the control group and 11 in the treatment group. And there is not a statistically significant difference uh, between the two groups uh, for the females. It's important to note that this is a, a very small sample size, so you'd have to take that into account. However, what I'm really trying to demonstrate is here is how you can separate 
in this case, the males and females and analyze them separately. Or for that matter, uh, you could separate out any variable this way. So when you're done with this analysis, if you want to return this back to the way it was originally, I just go up to data and again click select cases and now you want to select all cases and click OK. And you can see here now that none of them have that diagonal line. Uh, they're all part of the analysis. So if you run another analysis now, all the data would be considered. The last filter does remain up here. Uh, it's easy enough if you just go to the top. Uh, you can clear that. And now you've returned it back to the way it was in the beginning. I hope you found this video on using the select cases feature in SPSS to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.